You should start by selecting a new project or loading an existing project. To load an existing project, provide the drilling number in the Project ID section. If you want to start working with the software, click Start New Project. Next stage is selection of the profile type. If the whole drilling project includes profiles of different types and sizes, you can add them later. In this working space, you should establish the profile parameters, such as height, thickness, length, and the quantity of given type of profile. Other parameters are selected automatically. After entering the variables, confirm your choice by clicking Next. Now it is time for the most important stage, moving the holes to the profile. The screen is divided into two parts. The upper part visualizes the profile. The lower part is designed for establishing the location of the holes. It is important to note that the holes are moved to the profile based on the Y coordinates provided, vertical, and X coordinates, horizontal. Start adding holes from step 1 for determining their type. There are round holes and the so called beans. Their sizes are provided in millimeters. The next stage is determination of the location of the selected hole on the Y axis, vertical. Step 2 click Add another. The profile visualization shows the hole automatically at 50 mm above the lower edge of the profile. You can change the hole location by editing the distance field. You can also add several holes of the same type at once, vertically. By clicking Add Another again, you'll be moved to the next hole in relation to the previous one, not to the lower edge of the profile. The system of holes defined at this stage is called a section and refers to a group of vertical holes. In step 3, you determine the location of the section of holes on the X axis. In the Distance From field, determine the distance from the selected point of reference. It can either be the beginning of the X axis, end of the X axis, or a section selected from the list of the previously applied holes. By editing this parameter, you change the location of the holes, which is reflected in the profile visualization. There are two when another section of holes, the faster and the more detailed ones. The faster one involves copying a section of holes at the same distance from each other. After completing the application of the section, click the Add Section button. This will add the section to the project. The second way is more detailed and allows you to start another section of holes from scratch. To start working with another section, click Add Section, which also means acceptance of the currently edited section, and click Add Another Section. If a project has many sections located at a short distance from each other, you can use the magnifier to zoom in or out on the project visualization. Each time you move holes to a section, it is automatically added to the list. You can edit the sections, create a mirror reflection effect, copy or delete them. The necessary buttons are located on the right side of the screen. The mirror reflection effect is a very useful function which allows you to create copies of the sections on the other side of the x-axis. The section with the mirror reflection is automatically added to the list. After completing all holes, click Confirm Profile. You will see a list of the profiles with pre-made holes. At this stage, you can add another profile, edit another hole, add a name, or change the quantity of profiles, or finish the project. Generate a PDF file with all holes. To generate the file and save the project, enter your email address and confirm your choice by clicking Download PDF. The finished project will be sent to your email address. It includes the list of profiles, drawings for all profiles with holes, and the project ID number. When you restart the software, the project is automatically loaded. To start drilling a new hole or load a different project, click New Project in the upper left corner. The project number allows you to load the whole drilling project and edit it again. Please contact a Balex Metal Account Manager if you have any questions.